yo yo what is going on youtube it's your boy tremacy now before we get to the video if you guys enjoyed my content hit that subscribe button and also ring that bell so that way you guys get a notification as soon as i upload now sometimes youtube likes to slack off and not send you guys a notification as soon as possible and you don't want that to happen so i highly recommend you guys follow me on twitter also follow me on instagram as soon as i upload a video i'll tweet it out and I'll post it on my Instagram story so make sure you guys follow me on that also big thing I do stream every single day on Twitch so make sure you guys follow me on that enjoy the video guys stay safe Uki out yo 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 what is going on YouTube it's your boy Tremacy now NBA 2k21 is officially here 2k day it's about time Man, I've been waiting for this moment for a long, long time. Anyways, yo, listen, we are in my team. I just wanted to make this video to show you guys what my team looks like and what is the big news of my team because there is some pretty big news. So let's get this going. So, first thing you guys can see on the top right-hand corner, right next to my name, we there's levels. There's levels, and we're in level 5. Left side of that, you see we got some XP. So now in 2K... It's all about levels, it's all about XP, and it's all about seasons. Why do I say seasons? Because right here on the left side of the screen, you see that season one, Pink Diamond Steph Curry. And in order to get this Pink Diamond Steph Curry, you need to be in level 40. You need to be in level 40, and every level you get up, you do get more XP, you earn more XP. Now, how do you get more XP? Very simple. You can get XP by doing anything, by doing triple threat, by doing dominations, by doing challenges, by playing unlimited, by playing triple threat online, by doing triple threat, I mean, my team limited. Any mode you play, except for freestyle, you will get XP. So, it says 43 days left. So you have 43 days in order to get all of these awards and to get that pink diamond Steph Curry. Now big question is is Steph Curry gonna be worth it well I mean Steph Curry is a nice card but a lot of people complain about his height I know last year a lot of people they didn't really use short short guards I know I didn't but I know Steph Curry's jump shot by heart so I know I'm gonna be greening a lot of shots with him I'm pretty sure he's gonna have a lot of Hall of Fame badges especially for shooting so he is gonna be a solid card I'm hoping so but yeah, you get a lot of awards, man. A lot of awards every single time you rank up. You can get a diamond contract. You can get tokens, a Hall of Fame badge. You can get a player like Scottie Pippen, one of the greatest defenders ever. You can get diamond shoes, diamond contracts, packs, tokens. Like I said, you can get anything off of this, which is actually pretty dope. It makes you want to keep grinding and it makes you want to level up more. So, now, I want to tell you guys about my team unlimited because it's also a big thing now last year my team unlimited was very toxic for those of you guys know you know so now it's different you guys can see your my team unlimited rewards it's not by going 12 and 0 no more that's not how you get this card it's pretty the only way you get this card is by being in a pink diamond tier now how do you get to a higher tier well it's all about playing obviously the more you win, the higher you get to that tier as soon as possible. So, for example, I need three wins to reach the Emerald tier. And then after I get, like, another two wins, another three wins, once you reach three wins, it's going to tell you, okay, you need two more wins, and you reach the next tier. So, it's going to tell you, once you reach that Pink Diamond tier, you will get that Pink Diamond Paul Pierce for a fact. Now, is Paul Pierce going to be worth it? I don't know. He is a very pretty good defender. He has a pretty nice jump shot, even though in the corner he likes to kick out his leg. So that's probably going to be an issue. But, I mean, it's a free card, and it's not like how it was last year where you really had to, like, go 12-0 and 0 and not lose a game. You can, This year you can actually have probably, like, 4 L's and have 12 W's and get the card. So, like I said, it all depends on tiers that's pretty much what it all comes down to so it's actually pretty cool and obviously in the right side you see it says unlimited silver tier award so once i get my three wins you do get an award so that's also something pretty cool um they have a my team limited it's kind of how it is an unlimited but 
No, it's it's actually a little bit easier. It's by it's by rings now, pretty much. This is the prizes that you can get. You can get tokens. You can get a Hall of Fame badge, a shoe pack, and you can actually get Ralph Sampson. So I might actually do this because Ralph Sampson is actually a pretty good center, and he's actually like seven one or seven two. So he's actually gonna be a pretty good solid card. Now Pat Market, um, you know same thing. Uh, it's actually pretty cheap these packs. Not too crazy, but I'm not gonna open that up because they're not gonna be any good cards. Now let's go to rewards, token rewards. Now I was actually pretty upset me seeing this because nothing looks good except for pink diamond. Like, and even the pink diamond cards are not even all that. Like, it's not even all that. If I was you guys, unless you guys really see a card that you that you like guess go for it but I'm not really a fan of the the token market right now I'm gonna save up my tokens um, and that's just what I'm gonna be doing because it's not looking good for some reason I cannot click on the galaxy opal I think it's because um, you need to they haven't released any galaxy opal cards in there because I can click any other one but I can't click um, the galaxy opal rewards but it's all good it's all good um, auction house, same thing, nothing crazy. Um, you have here uh, your lineup management, it's pretty much the same thing, nothing really different. Uh, you got your franchise, you got your coaching. Um, you got the exchange is something new, so you can pretty much trade cards for an award, pretty much. That's pretty interesting, uh, pretty, pretty cool. Um, but yeah, then you got your card evos. Uh, I already got Shaq Evo. He's about to be a Ruby. He's pretty close, not too far. And then you also have your Kobe Bryant. He's about to get to a Ruby soon, very soon. Now, bad news to the people that like to collect their cards. Unless I'm mistaken or I'm, unless I'm blind as hell, I don't see no rewards by completing this. As you guys can see, it just says search, current NBA, rewards, premium, historic shoes. And yeah, they don't have anything of of your of if you complete it, you get a uh, uh, a special player. Like I don't see anything like that. But that's pretty much what it is. Uh, my team now is strictly every like 40 something days, a new season comes out, which will be another card. So it can be another pink diamond, like LeBron James or or a Galaxy Opal card. But every season, everything is gonna change. There's gonna be new rewards, and that's actually pretty, pretty nice that they actually added that. I think it's gonna work out, but we'll see what happens. Remember, I do stream every single day on Twitch, so make sure you guys follow me on Twitch. I'll see you guys in the next vid. Kooky out.